Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In, well, I've got, I'll actually tell you what, I'm about eight episodes that I haven't published, which will be published before this one. So, let's have a look. Today I want to have a look at this. You look at this ro rocket here and I can't actually, this is the, the mining rocket, a, a mining rocket. I want to show you a trick. Well, it's really a bug. So let me just come out in here and get another chip if I've got one. Oh, I've already got one prepared. And I'm going to put this chip into here. And this, I think, is it? Yes, that's right. This is the, um, what's it called? The guidance computer. So let's put this chip into the guidance computer. And then we should be able to launch it. And there it goes. And you'll see what's happened here. So I've actually got some blocks. They're actually in the same place, which is actually not very good. And I'm going to show you how I did that, actually. So now the rocket's going up. <laughs> very useful, because I'm getting extra extra bits for nothing. As you see them floating around. What did I just pick up there? Tell you what I'll do. Let me just get my bag out here and remove some of this stuff I don't need in here. So I managed to pick up an advanced motor, well actually two mo two engines, an advanced rocket engine and some fuel tanks, two fuel tanks. And what happens is this, see this is now launched and, the, and it's in progress, so now I'm going to quit the game. All I'm going to do is then restart the game again. Wait for a little bit as it loads up. And then look at the rocket. Now you look at this, it's lost contact with that particular rocket. But the rocket's still up there. And it's still working. And in a few in about one minute it'll start to come down again. And when it does come down, there won't be one rocket, there are actually two rockets. Which is a, an interesting bug. I hope it's been reported, it's been now we can reproduce it. It's fairly straightforward should be really straightforward to fix but for the time being it's a good way to get advanced rocket motors <laughs> and you see here it says the velocity is that and its height is that one but what I can do have I got another chip with me not yet let's just go and pick up another chip and the symptoms you'll see are like this I'll show you the symptoms because that's actually the interesting bit oh, that one's just about full and this one's prepared so I can take this one from here like that. Now how are we doing here? Still not back. I'll wait a second and then we'll show I'll come back when it's come when it's come when it's back again. Well, that was literally a second. You see now it's the altitude's coming down and the speed is now at minus velocity or negative velocity very fast, so it means it's coming down. And any second now, when we see this is around about here, we should actually be able to see the rocket. So let's have a look. See now the velocity starts to decrease. And here it comes again. Now you'll notice there's some strange behaviours here when this lands again. Let's have a look in here. Let's just sort this this crate. And you'll see stuff actually appear will start to appear at the bottom of this crate. And the rocket unloader is actually unloading uh, cobblestone as you can see fairly fast. In fact it's only unloaded cobblestone in this case. I don't think that was a very good chip. But now we come to the rocket here like this and shift right click it. Another look in the small crate, shall I try that again? You'll see we actually do have more minerals. In fact, oh, we do actually have some rutile only two. A little bit of iridium or an aluminium or, but all this cobble. Now that cobble, that's according to this, has actually been unloaded. I'm just full of him in the smoke at the moment and get out of the way till it blows away. And you'll see that that's disappeared down there. In fact, that did say 27, I think, last time we looked. 
There is one use for the small asteroids that I've thought of, and that's to get some redstone ore. Because with redstone ore, what you could do, of course, you can set up your redstone orchids. Let's go and have a look at that. While that smoke clears, as it were. Because at the back here I've got a farm of red orchids. And these red orchids are sitting in redstone ore, which they have to do. And that actually you get a reasonable amount of, oh hello rabbit, what are you doing down here? You get quite a reasonable amount of uh, redstone and quite a few redstone orchids. So you could make quite a large farm and do that. Let's go back to our rocket now and show what I want to demonstrate. So now there are actually two rockets here. So when I right click this, if I look here, it says, this says it's fueled up, yes? And this one says it's also ready to launch. And this one shouldn't be there. It says it's actually linked as well, I think, by the looks of it. So we should be able to launch this rocket. So let's try doing that. So we shift right click this again, put into this guidance computer this asteroid chip here, and then come back and launch it. And nothing happens. So it's fueled up, go back to the rocket again, check that. You see it's got no fuel in this rocket. So that's how you know you've got two. So what you have to do, do that, is to assemble this rocket here like that. And then we can then come back here, shift right click. We should actually be able to shift right click this, but I think first of all we have to break away what we've already got in here. So let's do that. First of all, let's take a hammer here. See it's sort of behaving strangely. You saw that? That was actually hit the rocky with my hammer and it's picked up a whole load of stuff and again in fact what I should do here is actually right click this crate because it's in this crate there's a whole load of stuff and if I break away if I break this crate it's going to oh, I should be alright for the time being in fact, what would be a good idea let's just take a chest down here and then put this chest down here like that control I've got control space and I click an item and it moves everything out of there. Put that in the chest. Let's get this stuff out of here. Control space again. Click. Put that into here. And I've actually also doubled up the oars. Which is also interesting. So now we should be able to. Let's have a look at this thing. See now it's got no fuel in it. And this has also got no fuel in it. So all you have to do. Is actually let's take a tank here. Um, I've got a tank already prepared. I think it's in my invent. Oh, it's in here, isn't it? Now, I'll actually just take it out. We don't need everything in here for the time being. I don't think. Well, I think we've got enough. So this has got four thousand. So let's right click this onto the onto the rocket here. Come back over here and have a look. It didn't put anything in it. The guidance computer did actually open because that's the wrong one. Let's try it over here. So now it's got 2,000. So what we can do is we can make sure that this must be the first machine to be linked. Right, should try click that on there like that. And it's already linked. And it's showing nothing. So what I have to do is now to get this other rocket out of the way. So I can disassemble both of them. I prefer not to. So let's just get away and finish off beating the, this rocket first of all. I can take away with these these drills of course. Like that. And there's nothing else, I don't think there's anything else I can get at. So oh yeah, that's a bit there. And it's a really strange f feature. There you go, and you see exactly what's happening now. I should, at some stage, I should be able to see this rocket in here, like that, and it should be fueled up. Did we put um, a chip into that? Let's try again. Guidance computer, no I haven't. Let's put one into here like this. Now we can probably put it in because we removed the other guidance computer. Now we might be able to actually launch this thing. Nope, not fueled up. If 
very strange. It's very strange this. And it's still, I think it still says it's linked. Let's just try that again. Shift right. Shift right click that on the ground, right click that on there, and then right click on here, and it says already linked. Yeah. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do the same with the fuel loader here. Shift right click that. That was great. And that says it's already linked too. But I don't see any fuel getting into there and it's not lit up. So the only option I've got now is to actually disassemble this rocket again. Let's do that. Actually I can leave that in there. And then you see that actually says oh, it's already to say it's this we now should be able to rebuild this one. So let's just build it. Like that. Now it should be filling up with fuel, which it is. It should have a chip in it, which it has. And this crate should be empty, which it is. So whenever this gets ready, let's put some. I haven't got any redstone on me, have I? No, let's just pinch a bit from here and put it down here like that. And let this rocket launch away. And that's fueling up, so look, there it goes. And there's nothing on the launch pad, or there shouldn't be anything on the launch pad now. Because whatever was there had probably been duplicated. Let's just can't really see I can't really see for the time being. we go. In fact I'm going to go and repeat this process again and you can see a little blue dot there. Wait for, wait, wait for the rocket fumes to go away. Oh go away for rocket fumes. Right okay you're clearing up now. <laughs> it's very annoying actually. You can't, I don't know how long it takes before that would actually disappear. There we go. So there's nothing left here so we can see that's the case. Let's remove that again and put that over here back to where it was and now just pause the, pause and stop the game and reload it again right that's it so that was that one let's have a look there's a few other things i've not looked at yet in this um mod in advanced rocketry let's get the stuff that i've got in here back into my inventory if i can that is so can I control space all this sort of stuff away? I can't. I need to get move some of this stuff. Let's put some of it in the bag here. Fuel small crate I'll put up here. The rest of it I'll take it with me. And I'll put some more stuff in here. Anything to do with advanced rockets really. In fact, not what I just put up, but never mind. Uh, what I wanted is this one. The guidance computer access hatch. This is new, I've not seen this before. So I don't actually know how it's going to work. So what I'm gonna look at here is this one. It's another little rocket this is a, which I built in, in exchange for my big manned rocket. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to disassemble, disassemble this rocket and disassemble this rocket, sorry, like that. And then I'm going to put this access that's force shield projector, I want that one. This one. Down here. Like that. And then we can scan this rocket again. Oh, it should be alright, which it is fine, and then we can build it. And there comes my rocket back again. And this time, oops, shift. I'm wondering if that actually works with this rocket. Because I was, exp yeah, I think this is probably the wrong type of rocket. I probably do need to change this. So let's, let's assemble this rocket again like that. See, I've got, oh, I've got a guidance computer access hatch. What does that tell me? Oh, this is something I don't know anything about. 
auto eject upon landing, allow ejection of planet chips, allow ejection of station chips, allow ejection of satellite chips. That's um, interesting. I don't know what it does, but that's new. And I think I've just assembled this rocket, of not I? Yes, I have. Let's just knock this off. So I think this is more aimed at automation of maybe cargo cargo rockets like this one here. So obviously this has got uh, at the moment. Well, let's take this one. We just picked up a whole load of cobble. Fantastic. And that cobble's just disappearing down from this one. So that's it. Again, we've got the duplicate rockets. Hmm. You know, I'm a bit puzzled by that. I must be honest with you. I wonder if I can hit this from the top here like this. I can, I'll have to assemble one of these two rockets first, don't I? Sure enough, I've picked up all that cobblestone. Control shift and click that into there. Now I should be able to break this here like this from above. And I just broke the wrong thing. Let's try again. Now from here. And here. Put that back into place. Let's just put something down here, like. Oh, what can I put on this one? Fuel tank, I suppose. Doesn't seem to be putting a fuel tank here. Maybe there's maybe they're already been broken and removed. Anyway, I won't waste time with that. I'll leave that for the time being. I'll pick up. We'll pick up these blocks that are floating around now. Let's just remove that one. My magnet is turned on. Yep, picked one now. Three launch pads are broke. Right, that's the guidance computer access hatch. I'll find out more about that. In the meantime, let's go up into the space station to have a look at the other items on this list here. I shall put my helmet on because I'll need my helmet when I'm reached the space station. I upgraded my system or my the game to 1.9.1 .1, and that was working just fine. And then all of a sudden I looked at some of the environmental tech. What I wanted to do was to change a lens to being a brown lens and when I did it the game crashed and then when I restarted the game it crashed again and I tried again and it did it again and then I restored the game went back and did the same thing and it crashed again and it couldn't I wouldn't restart so I did that three times so I gave up and come I've come back on to 1.8.9.1 with an updated version of um, advanced rocketry which is what we're seeing now so Yes, this thing is so funny. That's the orbital. That's the orbital laser drill, and it always does this. Just break a block, put it back in again, and re right-click it again, and it's it's there visually uh, repaired. I don't ask me what's going on there. I don't know. These rockets here, I tidied up because it wasn't so symmetrical. And I also made these two these two gas mining rockets the same sizes, so very big. In fact, they've got ten engines. They have got, as it's seven times, no, fourteen times three fuel tanks, and it's got there's a five, ten, thirty. They've got thirty tanks and fifteen gas intakes to go gas mining. That was for the moon. We should actually go, we should probably go and have a look at the moon as well while we're here because that's also quite interesting. So, what did I want to do? Yes, I wanted to have a look at these other components I've picked up here. So, the first one here are these pipe seals, 
and this one let's have a, actually let's look at this one first the atmosphere detector not seen this before never played with it let's just see what it does okay atmosphere detector so it can detect air pressurized air vacuum low o2 and high pressure okay i presume what you do is you it'll probably issue emit a redstone signal let's have a look i'm going to redstone now let's just get some redstone out of my bot that's my system that's probably craftable only huh i'll give me a bit of a shock then <laughs> they'll put down some redstone here like that and then we can right click this and we can say let's detect air it's off let's detect vacuum and sure enough that's on so that's what that one's doing so it's telling us we've got a vacuum that's actually quite useful so let's break this block here and go downstairs to here this is where I've got bits and pieces let's put that unit down here somewhere like this let's put it in the middle at the back and then so this we know is to be pressurized there so let's just click it on there and put some redstone down here like that it's not on pressurized there it's on now if we break a block here that redstone signal will go off oh no i've got to break two blocks haven't i to get actually outside like that so that should now be off because it's a vacuum select vacuum and it's on and it tells me it's breathable no now these blocks here are pipe seals and what you can do with pipe seals from what i understand you put them down here that's now off because we're now breathable again and you can put those in pipes into place into these i'm not sure what type of pipes you can use let's just try smart cables i'm going to put smart cables down here no let's try um under IO pipes, they'll be in here, won't they? What have we got in here? Fluid conduit. Conduit. Let's put take two of those out of there. Let's see if that works. Maybe I have to break this block here. Put the conduit down here like that, and then put this block into its place. Doesn't work maybe in that case it only works with the ender io ones let's just try to break this without breaking too much well, that's not the ender io ones let's just type it's their own his own mod let's have a look at that um have i got any with me i've got energy pipes in there data cables in there and the one of white you know maybe we've got some in here are the fluid ones here we go fluid pipes so what happens if i put this down i don't think that's going to work but maybe what it acts as as a transparent block let's just try that So we put it down there, and then we can put the other one on the other side like this. It doesn't look like it's connecting. Maybe you have to have two together. So it is breathable, yes, at the moment. So let's just remove this one. And this one. And this one. So if we put this down here like that and this one down here like that and then break this one come back all this forgiven no that doesn't work either well i've got to do some more research isn't it haven't i because as you can see oh, hold on a second Breathable, no. Why is that no? 
let's just remove this block here then wrong one and let's put back into its place here the laboratory block that was at the back I like this and then bring see it's still breathable no let's put that pipe down there and let's put into that the pipe seal here and now it's breathable yes interesting I wonder if that does actually work with other mod mod pipes let's try it as soon as I break that one is actually breathable no and they see the vacuum came on so what do we want let's try some ender IO conduits here breathable yes so that's it basically that's acting as that one so it acts as a a visual it blocks the, the holes you, you can dra drag pipes into there phew I'm glad I worked that out so the other one of these blocks here that have not actually been through yet is the force field one here force field projector and from what I understand about this thing it will actually emit a force field so let's put it down here like that and I think it needs a redstone signal so let's just get out a lever I'll show you a redstone torch you know, let's take one of those I don't know whether it needs power that didn't do anything let's try a different lever then I think I've got one in my golden bag of holding but let's just get one out of the system and there you are so this is admitting a force field and I think you can walk on this indeed you can so let's have a look at this let's rotate this around I've not used this block either before by the way I just saw a picture on the forum about it so if we put it like that put the lever on it turn it on and it emits a force field and it's a big force field too so you can use this for bridging stuff and you can have multiple of these as well so this force field projector let's look at the recipe for that is it's quite it's one of the new blocks it's basically the blocks down the bottom here are the ones which become later on so we need basically aluminium plates which we should have plenty of machine structures one lithium crystal and one copper coil like that I don't know whether these are actually um, linked from the same redstone signal let's go back here oh, indeed it does let's, put, let's make another one of those in fact I can think I can make eight because I made eight coils And then it changes to these aluminium plates from the old ones I've made. That doesn't matter very much. So the red zone signal doesn't go through three blocks. Let's just move the lever here and put it, say, here like that. And as you can see, it's, it's slowly retreating so that does work so it does one block on each side of the of the lever so that's that one more oops sorry one more thing I don't know I thought I had to press escape let's go and visit some more planets but I'm actually at earth at the moment nowhere to go let's select a planet what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Sol 17 zoom in on this one and then here I'm going to select one of the moons I'm going to select Sol 17 1 okay select that one and we're going to walk there fuel cost 45 so it's not very far from Earth 
Now the reason I've come here is it's something I didn't think of. There we go. Now we're there. I thought that all moons, because this is a moon of um, this is a moon of Sol 17, were all Earth-like, but they're not. Let's go and look at the biome scanner. I mean, moon-like, but they're not. Here we've got Mega Spruce Tiger, Swampland M, and that stands for mutated. Alien Forest, which is an important one. Beach and Desert Hills. Let's go and trundle down here. Oh, I haven't got a rocket, because I dissembled my rocket and didn't bring up the other one. But let's have a look. Have I got enough stuff in my bag? What have I got here? That's a rocket monitoring station, it's a fueling station. And this is a rocket assembly machine. Great, that'll do. So I think, is this a, yeah, this is an unbuilt rocket. We'll use this one. We'll just, uh, in fact, I'll keep most of the bits. So what do we need? Let's get it out of my bag. It should be in the gold or the iron bag. Let's have a look, what have I got here? Some fuel tanks, and yes, need somebody in those. So engines, we need some of those. We need a seat and we need a guidance computer. And I don't need so much. We should take this torch out if feel like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down the engines first. I've got more than I need, of course. I'm going to put down all nine. Nine is for speed, really. And then we're gonna I'm gonna put this back in the bag here. I want to get the fuel tanks out here. Like that. And I'm just going to build a oh I think I'll just do too high actually, it'll be fine. And in the middle here we can have a guidance computer. That satellite, but I don't need that. And on the guidance computer, we can put whatever we like. Let's put down a seat like that, and that should build. So let's just simply build this rocket. I won't even scan it. Missing guidance computer. Did I not put? What did I put in there then? Oh, good fuel tank. I'm sure you spotted that. There we go. Now I can build this. So there we go. Built complete. So now all we need in here is a space station chip. Let's get the space station 2 chip out of here. Two. What have we got in here? Unprogrammed space ID chips. Okay, so we simply just sim right, shift right click on here like that, put that into the curtains computer, get into the spaceship, and press space to take off. Are we fueled up? No, we're not. Have to fuel ourselves up first of all. And ba ba bam bam. Let's take my tank. I think I'll find a, t a fuel up tank in here. In fact, what I can also do while I'm here is to put away this other stuff that I don't need. Empty tank, that'll do fine. Let's just simply take the empty tank here, right click that on there, and then it'll be have eight buckets in there, which is fine. And I think we'll probably need about one bucket in here. Let's just right click that. Just right click. Yes, it's filled up. So in we go, and off we go. What do I need? Let's take a mega torch with us, by the way. Oh, can't do it that way. How high are we? Oh, we got still got time. And you see, we're on desert hills. Let's descend quickly. Ta-da! 
don't know what time of day it is. It's night time, so there will be mobs around here. Can't see a thing. Let's put the torch down. I've actually already been here, and I've already put a torch down. Well, that's a surprise, isn't it? Let's just pick up this torch and take it with us. So, that's why there are no bombs around here. And I also also mark the point. So, I didn't go very far. Let's just go in any direction. Let's just go straight due south and see what we find. So, Desert Hills is one of the five biomes. And we can see another biome over here, which is probably take take a helm that looks like mushroom can't can't be sure enough we can hear the mo mobs so what are we on now swampland mutated this do, oh yes this is mega spruce taker We're back into desert hills again. I'm just looking to see if we can see very quickly a um, alien forest biome. They're actually very close together. These things. There's not very. You don't normally have to go very far. And I'm flying quite slowly. What was the other one? Let's press control and go a bit faster. Creeper. We're right now on beach. That must have been another biome. And here we are. That's it. Straight away, fairly quickly, we can see some alien forest. And sure enough, I think this is alien forest. Indeed, it is. That doesn't look like a. Ah, oh, but that one does. A light wood sapling. That looks like. Actually, I don't know what this is. Let's have a quick look at what we've got over here. Is that a small... No, it's definitely not. What is it? Yes, thank you. I've seen you. Oak leaves. Ah, because it, it's an oak tree in the alien forest. That's it. So do we get this? Reasonable amount of lag here. That's not one of those skeletons. There's actually a few of them down here. And they're shooting at me. And I missed him. And again. Which one is it? That's mm -hmm. down. So there's your lightwood sapling. So, right, let's go back to the rocket. And in fact, I must have missed one because there's another, there's another alien forest just here as well. So they are very frequent. Some Enderman, some different coloured sheep, which... Some of these structures, are, these craters are quite spectacular. And of course it's worthwhile mining some of these places. Because you'll get some quite good ores down here. I haven't actually examined what type of ores we get down here. And you'll also have noticed what have we got for fuel in this thing. It's almost full. Probably got enough fuel in there to get back. I've actually not actually ever tried not to do. I wonder if I've got to fill it up. I don't know actually what's going to happen if we don't have enough fuel. No, in fact, let's do. Let's turn off that marker there. So we don't get that nasty yellow light as we fly up. So 
So while I'm going up, one of the things I've done is that I'm trying to see why I get such a lot of lag when I'm at base. So I'm starting to move things away from the base and move them into the sort of animal compound. One of the things I did sort of uh, I've done is to set up a quantum was it quantum? I can't remember, a quantum link or something like that from Applied Energistics. Right, let's go down again now. And I also removed um Aroma Backup. I think it's Aroma Backup Aroma Backup. That comes in every forty minutes or something like that. Every once in a while, and it start. It does it at the beginning of the game. So what I'm doing, start doing now, is I'm actually backing up my world before I go on to the um, before I start the game, and then I'll play the game. So I know that it's not going to kick in and do anything nasty while I'm there. So let's go back um, home now. In fact, I can simply double click this now. I think I can double click it. And then Earth. Oh, it's already done. That's why it's red. I should have been able to. Sorry, me. I think I could have been able to do that quite easier than that. And it's. That wasn't the only planet, by the way, with. Um, with um, alien forests. There's a lot more. I think there's about five. Maybe. I think they're all moons, or four. I think three of them are moons. And in fact, I should really tell you how I figured that out. So let's get back down. I want to go back down to Earth again now. I'm all, I want to go to the moon. And the reason I want to go to the moon is I've been terraforming, as you may know. And the terraforming's finished. But there's also something quite interesting I eventually found. That was the landing site of Apollo 11. I'm not going to show you where it is. But what I will do, in fact, I'm going to leave that till next time. And I'll show you what it looks like. Because when you know what it looks like, it makes finding it a lot easier. And I think I've basically covered... Which way around? I want to be that window, isn't it? Nope, that window. I think I've covered everything. Well, almost everything. Just that. Get, this is that new device. So, which one is it? Can't find it. Must be in the bag. Where's it gone to? It's the um, the guidance computer access port. I'm going to find out what that's for. And let's have a look. I think I'm just a bit stuck what I'm trying to say, but that's it for this episode. I hope you've found, learned something new about it. And I'm going to take away that rocket, assemble that rocket again, and see what I can get out of it, and maybe do with that again. So until next time, bye for now.